Wen Ho, Zai Zhang Wao, Gong Chang Dang, Di Bang Zhu Jia, Frankie's Free Range Meat, Jiang Chang Wei, Di Yi, Di Yi, Jiang Wo, Di Yi. <laughs> I, I hope someone speaks Chinese to, to, to explain to me how ridiculous I sound. <laughs> but uh, uh, for most of you, I basically said uh, greetings with the support of the Chinese Communist Party. Frankie's Free Range Meat will be number one. Number one, China, number one. That's, that's roughly what I said. <laughs> and and I, I think the CIA agent watching my video will simply have a laugh because there's no way I could have established any sort of relationship with the Chinese government based on my <laughs> Mandarin <laughs> linguistics. Linguistics. I could, I could go for some linguine in a nice Chinese restaurant. We haven't done any restaurant vlogs in a while. But, uh... Yeah, my Chinese friends are, I think it's Chinese New Year over there now, so I don't know, let me, let me read my vlog to-do list because my brain is fried. Uh, so first things first, we have a lot of fake Google reviews and people like intentionally trying to harass my business. And a lot of those reviews were from people who maliciously placed an order with the intention of filing a chargeback. Most of them don't even email me, they just file a chargeback. So if you guys want like a $10 credit on an order, just leave a Google review and then send me an email of like proof that you left a review and then I'll take $10 off your next order. I'll get, I'm, I'll, I'll get more into that in another video, but I don't want to complain too much. We got a lot of things back in stock. I'll, I'll go around and show you guys that. Uh, but the ice cream should be the correct recipe. And I already said it once. My brain is so fried. I told myself to try the ice cream before I came into work today so I can tell you guys. But... We're just gonna do an ice cream taste test at the beginning of this vlog. I'm gonna go home after I film this and, and taste the ice cream real quick for you guys. And some of you guys are emailing us like, hey, where's my order, guys? I'm, I'm down here by myself losing my mind in the freezer three, four hours a day. And my guys are packing up the orders as quickly as possible. We try to send everything out by Tuesday, Wednesday, but you know, a lot, a lot of people will like place an order on you know, Thursday or Friday of last week and then be emailing me, hey, Frank, where's my order? Guys, I'm not Amazon. <laughs> we have one fulfillment center on the East Coast. I'm trying my best. When you run a business legitimately and fairly, it, it's very difficult to, you know, when you're starting. And, and, you know, I can't get you guys orders the next day. If you want to go on Amazon and pay twice as much for half the quality of product, they'll ship it to you in a day. But uh, hopefully with the support of you guys for another year or two, we, we can tighten things up even more. But we'll see. We will see. Can, should that be the new? Should that be the new intro to every vlog? When how? <laughs> maybe, maybe. I'll think about it. If you guys can give me some feedback. What did we used to say in the beginning of the um, in the beginning of the day of eating vlogs with that chick Victoria Ciro, where she was like Russian? Oh man, what, it was so funny. It was like, "Hello, greetings with the warm well what, Russian." You know what? Hold on. Let me see if I could just find it. This is kind of it. This is kind of it. Good morning, my lovely friends. Hope you are well today. I'm very excited because I'm... Good morning. I hope you are well. <laughs> my name is Frank and... Well oh, I got it now. I remember it now. Hello. Good morning. Hope you are well. My name is Frank. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. <laughs> I got it. This is a good one. Good morning. I just wake up and today <laughs> Oh God, help me! All right, let's uh, let's get the vlog started before I lose my mind completely. Yeah, my schedule is completely cooked. That's the new TikTok slang lately. Cooked. So I didn't get down here until like I think 2 p.m. So it's about five o'clock now on Sunday. It only took me a few hours uh, to get the orders ready in the freezer, but. I'm behind on a lot of other stuff I could possibly do. Yeah, dude, I, I fried my lower back yesterday moving the, the heavy crates in the freezer because, like, I was stacking them. I shouldn't have. Like, a 40-pound crate's not that heavy, but 80 pounds will fry your back. So I uh, hurt my back a little bit yesterday. So, like, I went home. I laid down from, like, 9 to 4 a.m., but I didn't, I didn't finish all the work on the computer and do the YouTube stuff. So I had to get up at 4 a.m. and work for, like, five hours. And then I went back to bed at 9, and I got up at, like, 1. So my schedule is completely, completely cooked. But we're down here. Hopefully we can shimmy things together the rest of the week. So decent amount of stuff going on. 
Uh, over here on Frankie's Naturals, we're gonna have two new products this week. The label should be coming tomorrow. This is a bone marrow moisturizing cream. Logo's, logo is very cute. I'm excited to show you guys that next week. And over here, our deodorant is back in stock. This is the, the same deodorant formula we've always had with the shea butter, lemongrass, and all that stuff. Uh, it's just we have a new a new logo and a new label that's kind of funny and cute. I'm looking forward to showing you guys. So over there on that table and uh, behind those boxes over there are a few big boxes. Those are all the ingredients for my detox smoothie. I forgot to order another box of one ingredient, so hopefully that comes by like Tuesday or Wednesday. And we should have the detox smoothie ready to launch next week. And also what should be coming is the uh, the new vitamins and minerals and stuff. So hopefully big organ supplements launch big organ supplements launch next week. My, my face is a little frozen from the freezer, so I'm kind of slurring a little bit, but uh, that's not gonna be this week, hopefully next week. But I'm definitely looking forward to that, some new products. Uh, the marrow cream and the deodorant that I just showed you guys, we're also gonna have a just bone marrow oil. So this is just pure bone marrow melted down. We have a lot of this. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna charge. I gotta figure out how much it costs me to make this. I think it's gonna be 25 or $30 a jar because there is a lot of waste. Uh, you know, I mean, you know, you're taking that small amount of marrow out of the bone and then from that marrow, like, more, uh, le a little less than half of it is, is like, it doesn't melt down. So it's not cheap to make this, but this will be available on the foods and the meat website, whereas, the marrow cream and the deodorant, as you guys know, are on frankiesnaturals.com. So these are these are three new products that um, maybe by Tuesday or Wednesday you guys will be able to get on the website. Yeah, I mean we got a few restocks in the freezer. Uh, the main thing that's back is the collagen sausage. We did get we did get some of the pork share items, but we're still waiting on a few things next week. So I'll talk about that uh, when we get in the freezer. I mean the main thing the main thing on my notes was to explain to you guys like look I, I can only. I could, I could barely afford this old grocery store and I had to get a bank loan to get the freezer up and running. So, you know, when I, whenever I offer you guys products or sell you guys stuff, it's really, you know, the, the margins are minimal. Like, I, I would never be able to have a corporation or like a, a, a big corporate entity because the, the margins and the profits that they have are, are completely, completely ridiculous and insane. And that's very evident when you go on like, like my business, OregonSupplements.com. I'm selling these supplements at half the price of basically anyone else and that's because I'm doing everything myself I have very little overhead and I have you know some integrity I'm not gonna look and see oh it cost if this cost me ten dollars and someone's selling it for forty five dollars I'm not gonna sell it for forty two dollars I'm gonna sell it for you know twenty or twenty five whatever I need to make a reasonable margin uh, on the rest of the Frankie strange food stuff it looks like you guys are going through the bars pretty quickly we just finished cleaning up in here after a fairly busy week my, my contractor, he got all the steel on the wall. Uh, so maybe we can get the rest of that kitchen set up soon so we can make like the beef barley soup and stuff. In here, this is just the turkey breast and roast beef that we're gonna slice fresh tomorrow morning to ship out to you guys. Very special, no one else is doing that. This is all the fresh dairy that came in over the weekend that we're gonna send out to you guys first thing Monday and Tuesday. Uh, last week I told you guys we restocked the Jardiniera. That's just a lot of extra butter. I think over here somewhere is the sauerkraut. Sauerkraut, delicious. Maybe we should do a hot dog recipe. Water kefir, we haven't been making any water kefir guys so when we run out of this, it might be a little while before we get some more. Plenty of eggs we gotta send out for you guys. Organic raw cookie dough. Guys, make sure to buy this because if, the, if this like, another week or two, if this goes bad, we're definitely not gonna keep making it. I think this is the last of the fresh beef share that's in the fridge. I mean, it's been in the fridge for a week and a half now, so if we don't sell it this week, uh, probably gonna be gone. Running low on most of the cheeses. Hopefully we can get a cheese order in next week. Problem is, I thought we didn't have that much to do this week, so I, I placed an organic uh, produce order. Well, this is some leftover celery, but I bought like, I don't know, maybe seven or eight cases of cucumbers. I, I, you know, I'm looking at, the, normally we just put the cucumbers in the, in the jar. This time, I was gonna slice the cucumbers first before pickling them to see if that made a difference. 
I don't know how long it would take me to cut all these cucumbers up myself. I might try to do it tomorrow because if these sit in the fridge for another few days, I don't know how long they're gonna last. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a produce expert, so if, if I ordered those cucumbers and they came on Thursday, they've been in the fridge for like two or three days now. I don't know how long until like they start going bad and getting mushy. I'm sure they might, I'm sure they'll be fine for a few more days, but I don't know when my guys are gonna get to them because we had so much other stuff to do. Honestly, I mean, because the past few times we just put them whole in the jar. But to my understanding, most times when you make pickles, you're supposed to cut them first. I don't know. I'll see how I feel tomorrow because I'd have to do that on top of being in the freezer for three hours. I want to get that detox smoothie stuff ready, but I might be. I'm, and, and of course, I have to label all those deodorant and cream and stuff has to be labeled. So I don't know when we're going to have to have to do it. All right, guys, so let's see what's new in the freezer this week. Over here, we restock some of the, the pork tenderloin. These come in uh, two tenderloin packs, and you guys can buy them by weight. Most of the Iberico pork is in stock. We just got the baby back ribs back. We have the breakfast sausage and the plain sausage in addition to uh, the, the beef. These are the beef hot dogs. I don't know why my guys put this by the pork, but whatever. These are the fresh ducks that we've had for a few weeks now. Corn and soy free duck. Very special, no one else is selling this quality online for this price. We got a chicken restock that uh, will be active on the website by the time you guys see this video. Uh, this is the rest of the chicken we have and there's a fresh batch over there I'll show you. Most of the soups and broths are in stock. You know, we have our very concentrated chicken broth. We have the beef stock concentrate, very dark colored. We have the, the regular collagen broth, and down there we have the, the beef in the bone broth. This is our best burger blend. We grind it up fresh every week. This is the, the Vichy Soie soup that I like a lot. And uh, we're just missing the chicken soup that we'll make uh, probably this week. These are all the orders packed up, ready to go tomorrow. We showed you guys last week, the skirt steak is restocked. We're running low on a few things, but we'll try to get most of them back again this week. So here's all the new stuff for this week. We have the, the, the plain collagen sausage are back in stock. This is made with just beef, beef broth, and salt. So technically only, really only two ingredients, beef and salt. But you know, yeah, beef, meal, muscle meat, beef fat, beef collagen broth, all mixed together to make this. We got the bone-in steaks back. So we have nice one pound bone and ribeye, and also we have the porterhouse steaks. Uh, we run low on some pork bacon, so we have some pork bacon in stock. Uh, we got the organ grind freshly ground up for you guys. A lot of beef tongue, a lot of beef tongue. So we have a very good price on the beef tongue on the website. Running low on the pet food, but we should get more this week. This is the chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla ice cream. Look how dark yellow that is. One pound beef hearts in stock. We got a variety of beef liver in different weights in stock. And we restock the uh, the pipe cut bones, the canoe cut marrow bones, as well as the, the bone marrow butter. This is the, the one pound venison shoulder. Haven't had this for a while, but now we do. This is just all, this is just all collagen sausage, I think. So we have a lot of that. This is the chicken that just came in this week. Uh, I mean, most of it we had already. You know, this is just chicken drumsticks, whole chicken, um, chicken breasts. But since the Amish farmer has some chicken still, uh, I, I might reduce the price and try to move it a little quicker. That's why I'm mentioning it, because we might reduce the price slightly. This is part of the pork share. So here we have some amazing looking pork chops, corn and soy free, milk fed pork. These are the pork ribs. A lot of pork chops over there. This is the ground pork. Nice, deep, rosy pink color. And here we have more of the pork share. So these are some uh, pork picnic roasts. Those are sirloin butt roasts. Here we have the pork head cheese. I haven't tried this, I'm excited to try this myself. I, sh I showed him how to make head cheese. So that's pork head cheese. That's pork liverwurst. No liver, no organs in it. Actually only just like pork meat. And then we have some pork smoked plain sausage. Really excited about this pork share. 
Uh, here are just some frozen egg whites. These are the egg whites from uh, the Amish farmer making the ice cream. Uh, if you guys want these, they're not $10. I think they're like $7.50 on the website. No one else is selling corn and soy free egg whites. Yeah, so that's seven or eight items. I think that are in the pork share that I showed you. Well, we're, we're missing the, the pork ham, the pork bacon, and the, the pulled pork, which is made from the pork butt. So when that stuff comes this weekend, the pork share is gonna be available uh, because uh, the ham, the bacon, and all that stuff, it, it required a, a two week cure. So we have most of the pork ready to go. And then the, when the rest of it comes in this weekend, uh, we're gonna have everything set up and I'm gonna see how much I paid for it. I'm gonna try to get it to you guys at, at whatever price I can as low as possible. Although, you know, on, honestly, this quality of pork and this level of like artisanal or like, no, no, I don't think anyone's ever sold anything as special as this online from a meat perspective, from, from the quality of the pork to the care that has gone into it, to the variety of the products to, to um, also very special. It's only made with high quality organic ingredients. Everything just plain with only salt. Uh, a little bit of we put a little bit of sugar in the, in the ham and the bacon cure, but it's it's really it's really nothing. So that that share is going to be pretty big. I think it's going to be 15 to 20 pounds of pork. So you you guys can expect it to be over over 200 dollars probably. Um, the the previous pork share I think it was it was it was much cheaper because there was only like a few different things in there. Uh, but this one's gonna have a lot more stuff. You're gonna get a lot more pork, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna weigh them each out individually, and, and that's how we're gonna do it. So, like, I'm gonna put one of each item in the pork share, and I'm gonna weigh it, and I'm gonna have them them listed on the website as certain options, and we'll sell like that. And as we as we run out of stuff, then you know maybe we'll run out of I don't know, we'll run out of the, those big roasts first. So as soon as we're out of the big roasts. Uh, that'll that'll cut like a big chunk off the price of the pork share. Then hey, maybe then maybe we run out of. Uh, I mean, we have a good amount of head cheese and liverwurst. But let's say we run out of liverwurst, then we take the liverwurst off. The price gets reduced. So uh, if you guys don't want to spend that much money up front on a share, then you'll be able to buy it as, when it's reduced. So yeah, that, that's what we're excited for next week. Uh, the fresh beef might also be back. We're, I mean, we're sold out now, but uh, the pork share. So the pork share and the fresh beef share might be back this weekend. Both of them might be back. We might put the chicken back in the share, but that really throws off the inventory. So I'm just going to try to reduce the price of the chicken for you guys. Um, so you can just buy what you want instead of having to buy the chicken share to get a big discount. Yeah, I really want to try everything from the pork share myself, but like we have such a limited amount. I, I might just do it anyway. I might just do it anyway. Yeah, so we got a few brand, brand new things this week. The marrow cream face moisturizer. We're going to have the, the marrow oil as a cooking fat, and I think that would be delicious to put on bread or toast or something, especially in a fancy restaurant. And hopefully the, the supplements and everything uh, comes in this week and we, we can launch our, our new vitamin and mineral supplements next week as well as the, um, the detox smoothie, which I'm very excited for. Pretty creative, unique thing. The, the, la the labels for that aren't gonna come until next week, so. Uh, we, we might have some vitamin and mineral stuff on the website, but the smoothie isn't going to be available until after the next vlog. Yeah, I think that's everything. I mentioned a few times like I wanted to launch this special product in the summer, but uh, I spoke to a patent lawyer and there's basically nothing preventing uh, these corporate cocksuckers from just copying my idea and shadow banning me and censoring me and making millions and millions of dollars, well, tens, hundreds of millions of dollars off of my ideas like they have in the past. It's happened. It's happened in the past several times with the animal-based influencers and people like Liver King. They've made tens if not hundreds of millions of dollars off of my ideas and marketing and creativity and without even mentioning my name. So I, I think I'm going to have to wait till I'm in a better, if, I mean, if, if, I'm ne if I never get in a better financial position where I can afford to, to pay for these big marketing campaigns with these new product launches, it's just a very bad idea. To, to, it's a very bad idea to launch a very unique and creative product on a small platform uh, that, that can be copied because you know maybe maybe I'm maybe maybe I'll make a few thousand dollars off of it maybe which will just help me supplement and grow my business a little bit but then someone copies it and then I'm, I'm shit out of luck so I don't know if we're gonna launch that I mean even though you guys probably don't care it's not that important because I haven't told you guys what it is and I barely mentioned it 
but yeah, so hopefully, hopefully with your guys' continued support, uh, I mean, I'm doing as much as I can, guys. Well, I don't really have anything else in my life besides this business. Well, all I do is work every day here. I go home, I just work on my computer. That's that's all I do. Every every day, seven days a week, that's all I do. So that's kind of how, how I show my appreciation to you guys supporting my business and everything. And uh, hopefully I make it worth your while if we can stick it out another few years. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. I'm telling I'm, I, guys, I, eventually, you guys, listen, you, you guys have to support me. Because eventually, when I actually lose my mind, I'll be like filming videos with like there will literally be like half naked Chinese girls running around on my farm. Like it'll be it'll be wild, bro. It'll and and boys for you ladies for you ladies. Don't worry, I, I will not forget about you ladies. Well, we'll get what you want to. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna we're gonna go home and test the ice cream. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Little bonus ice cream taste test, guys. When I smell these, when I open them, oh my god, it's phenomenal. The, the smell of each of these individually, it's, it's insane. So we'll start with the vanilla, it makes the most sense. Immediately the texture off the bat, it, it's much creamier and it's not like icy and stuck. That vanilla flavor, bro, this, this New Zealand vanilla I bought, so, so expensive. This is Way, way better. Way better. Now, th this is what I wanted to sell. When I said we need raw milk ice cream, this is good. I'm comfortable with this. You guys are going to like this a lot. I wonder if we can still get the cream content a little higher, but... This is excellent. This is some of, if not the best tasting ice cream I've ever had. Very good. Very, very tasty. I gotta stop. I gotta stop because this is phenomenal. Vanilla is always my favorite, but we'll try, uh, we'll try strawberry next. I mean, if you like strawberry, super prominent, high quality strawberry flavor, and it's not too sweet. It's not too sweet. Honestly, I, I think this could have more sugar, but with the quality of the ingredients and everything, and, and the flavor profile of the vanilla, and, and all the flavors in this, I don't think it should be sweet. Because it's so tasty and delicious on its own. You don't need it to be sweet. That strawberry. You guys that eat a lot of strawberry ice cream, try this and let me know how this ranks. I feel like this is another level of the highest quality strawberry flavor you could ever have in an ice cream. Oh, the moment of truth for the chocolate. I'm very happy with this. I'm excited because compared to the first ice cream we had, which you guys liked, I didn't think it was acceptable, but this, this is phenomenal. This is very good. This chocolate, the last one was bitter. We switched up the cacao powder. This is like, bro. For $10, for $10, you guys are gonna be writing me love letters in the mail. Bro. Insane. In, insane. Insane. Chocolate. Very delicious. Good. Not too sweet. I think if I put more sugar in this, may, maybe some people would like it, but it's, it's so delicious on its own. I, I think we found a good balance of sugar without it tasting actually sweet. I'm going to go back to the strawberry real quick. Maybe we put a lot less sugar in the strawberry because we thought the strawberry jam was sweet, but the strawberry is good. The strawberry is so good. It's a nice balanced flavor profile.
Way better than before, way better than before. The egg yolks instead of the egg whites really improve the texture. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Very delicious ice cream, guys. I hope you enjoy them on frankiestrangemeat.com. I mean, I don't think it's gonna get much better than this, to be honest. Maybe, maybe we'll try. Maybe we could try a batch with more cream, but it doesn't need it. The texture is phenomenal. It's good. It's just sweet enough. The quality of the flavorings and ingredients really shines through. So, you guys can get the vanilla strawberry and chocolate ice cream on frankiestrangemeat.com. Hopefully this is something that we can offer to you guys consistently. And I think for $10, it's, it, it's an amazing deal. It's an amazing deal for the quality of what you're getting. Uh, you guys can go to frank where you will see Frankie Strange Meat as well as all my other interesting businesses, Frankie Strange Foods. Uh, we should have the potato chips back soon. We got the pickled vegetables, organ supplements. I told you guys we're gonna have some new stuff. Frankie's Naturals, new stuff. Wi-Fi shielding, I'm always wearing the clothing, guys. That should be it. Thanks again for joining, guys, and I'll see you soon. Be sure to let me know how you like this if you try it. It's a lot better.